Hi all, greetings from Presta School of Management, Science and Arts, Mysore. We have heard so many success stories of investing in the stock markets. So few people have made 100 crores, few people have made 1000 crores and they have told us that investing 10,000 rupees has given them 700 crores or investing 1 lakh rupees have given them 100, 100 crores or 120 crores. Now, what is the rationale behind this? That is what we are going to discuss in this video. So before I start my video, I just want to share you a fun fact. If you had invested 10,000 rupees way back 40 years in the Wipro, it would have given you 700 crores today at the present market price. So with this small fun fact, I am Dr. Rakesh Chem, Faculty of Finance at Cresta School of Management, Science and Arts, Mysore, will be introducing you to the investments in the stock markets. Basically, in this video, I will be covering four important aspects of stock market investments for the beginners. The first one is the stock market risky. The second one, how much return I can expect by investing in the stock markets. The third one, how much minimum amount I should invest in the stock markets to start with. And the fourth one, what is the process for investing in the stock markets. To, I'll start with the first one. The first one is the stock market risky. Obviously, yes. When we made a wrong choice of investing in a bad company, obviously, my investment will be at risk. I will be giving you the two examples for this, ABC company and the XYZ company. Assume that the ABC company is a very good company. It is earning profits and it is well managed. If you are investing in these kinds of companies, the returns will also be more and the risk involved with these companies will be less. Similarly, XYZ company, it is not managed well by the management, it is not earning profit, it is not having a revenue growth in the market, then investing in this company will involve risk for the investors. So in this type of businesses, there will be high risk for the investors. So, we all understand that the stock market investments is always risky and it will depend on the investment choice as an investor we make. The second, we, the second term is what is the return I can expect from the market. In the introduction part of this video, I shared with you few examples of making 700 crores, 100 crores, 20 crores and all. There is no limitations of expecting returns from the market. There are so many companies which have given 1000% interest, 10,000% return, etc. on this. So I, had give, I have given you the example of Wipro company. If you had invested 10,000 rupees before 40 years, with, at today's market price, it would have been 700 crores. So there is no limitations. And again, here also, there is a disclaimer, the correct choice of investment is required. The third one, what is the minimum amount of money to be invested to start with? I'll tell you the minimum amount of money required to start with for the stock market's investment is only rupees 1000. You can start your investment journey with 1000 rupees. I'll give you a small example of the effects of compounding. Assume that you will start your investment with 1000 rupees every month and after one year you will be increasing your investment in the stock market by 15% over a period of 25 years, you will easily create a corpus fund of 1 crore with a compounding interest of 10%. So it means to say that in the first year, every month you will be investing 1000 rupees. In the second year, you will be investing 1000 rupees plus 15%, that is 1150 rupees. And from the third year, again 1150 rupees plus 15% and so on for a period of 25 years you will be able to create a corpus fund of 1 crore after 25 years. So this is about minimum investment. The last one is the process. So what is the process to buy the share or sell the share in the stock markets? I require three documents to start trading in the stock market. The first one is a Aadhaar card. The second one is a PAN card and the third one is a bank account. These are the three basic documents required for opening a DMAT account and a trading account. So there are so many brokerages are available in and around us. So 
if we are submitting these three documents to the brokerages, they will be opening a DMAT account and trading account on behalf of us in the stock markets and thereby we will be eligible to directly trade the securities in the market. It means I can buy the security, I can sell the security, right? This is a simple process of starting the DMAT account as well as a trading account. And we have discussed four basic parameters which is to be considered for a stock market investments for the beginners. The first one is stock market is risky, minimum returns expected. The third one is the what is the minimum amount to be invested and the fourth one what is the process. So I will end my video with these four parameters, basic parameters in this video and in the next video I will be giving you some more details about investing in the stock markets. Thank you so much for your patience listening. Thank you so much. Take care. See you all.